Modifying the Outline Appearance. Step 1. This tutorial will show you how to modify the appearance of your outline. We will use one of the pre-existing examples in Outline 4D for demonstration. Step 2. In the Examples folder, select GroundhogDay.syv and click Open. Step 3. Hit F9 on the keyboard to go into Outline mode, or select View Outline. Step 4. The first thing we are going to look at is the Structure column, which appears on the left side of the outline. It provides a visual representation of the events and how they are connected in the hierarchy. In Act 1 of Groundhog Day, you can clearly see the connection lines to its child events, and in turn, their child events. It also makes it easier to select events with the Structure column visible. Step 5. If you would prefer to view the outline as a word processing document, you can toggle the Structure column on and off. If you do not see the column on the left, click View, Toolbars, Outline Appearance. Click the Toggle Structure Column button on the left toolbar to turn it off and back on to see the difference. Step 6. Collapse Expand Buttons. The Collapse Expand buttons allow events to be collapsed or expanded as in a standard Windows list. You can also use your left and right arrow keys to collapse and expand individual events as they are selected, though not while in edit mode. Click the Collapse All button, then click the Expand All button to see what they do. Then, highlight Act 1 and hit the left arrow key to collapse it, then the right arrow key to expand it. Step 7. Summarize and unsummarize. Sometimes less is more. Summarizing an event shows an event's title and first line of content. The ability to summarize single or all events gives even more control. Select Act 1 and hit Control 1 to summarize all. Note how it underlines the text so you know it is summarized. Then hit Control 2 to unsummarize all. Next, select Act 1 and click the Summarize button. Now click the Unsummarize button and it restores the event to its original state. Step 8. The next feature we will look at are the Titles and Content, Titles Only, and Content Only display modes. These change how all events in the outline are displayed. The buttons are located on the top toolbar. If you do not see the buttons, click View, Toolbars, Titles Content Visibility. Click the Titles and Content button and see how it affects the outline display. Do the same with Titles Only and Content Only. Step 9. The custom display allows you to set any one of the three options, titles and content, titles only, and content only, to individual events, creating a totally user-customizable way to display each event. Select Act 1 and click the Custom Visibility button. Set Act 1 to Titles only. Set Sequence 1 to Content only. Set Scene 1 to Titles only and Scene 3 to Content Only. Step 10. If you want to hide a whole event or an entire hierarchy, if you have more than one, you can use the Level Selector. Click on the Level Selector button on the left toolbar. If you do not see it, click View, Toolbars, View. Uncheck the Scene Level and click OK. Notice all the scenes are gone. They still exist, that level is just not being displayed. 
hit F9 to go to the timeline to better see how the level selector affects the display. Bring up the level selector again, recheck Scene, and click OK. The scene level is displayed again. Hit F9 when you are all done to return to the outline mode. This concludes this section of the tutorial.